This what I wanna do with my life now. Gonna make this legit. Maybe no other one in two years from what I'm at now. I hope my job is to spit. Every time I hit the gram, I see rappers working. Same old lines about booty twerking. Sell out shows, but they sell out store. I'm like, man, that must be not my flow for certain. What is up, everybody? Cam Jam Experience. That was, I mean, Detroit's own Jay Pitts with his song Imprints. Um, I mean, I think he's a good rapper, honestly. Oh, he does a very great job. Very uh, inspirational for the city of Detroit. It's what we liked here. I mean, lyrically sound, very good with rhymes. Uh, great guy altogether. So, we're talking about Detroit. We're hyping up Detroit. Uh, we just went and saw that movie, Detroit. And honestly, I thought it was good. I thought it was a little longer than it should have been, but I thought all the main points were presented well, and overall, I thought it was a real good movie. Oh, definitely. I very much love the movie. I love the history of it. Uh, they did many of the parts very well. It's a very sad story, but it's a sad story that needs to be told. Oh, So for I sure. think people need to go see it uh, for the history of it. Uh, yeah, the ending's a little, uh, little much at times. Oh, but uh, yeah. definitely go see it. I'm not going to spoil anything. No. I think if you say one part, it'll be spoiled. It's just um, uh, no. There's there's one part that I did want to mention that I don't, I don't think will spoil it at all. That I thought was great for the historical part of it. Um, there's one part where there's one guy running and he's hiding in a certain spot. And in the background, I don't know if you caught it, but you can hear the broadcast of the Tigers game. Yeah, you can hear Ernie. Yeah, you can hear Ernie talking about what's going on on the field. And I thought that was cool that they brought that in because, I mean, the Tigers were still playing during all of this. Yes. So it was really, really cool that they just added that in, didn't make too much of a big deal about it, but it was cool to mention it. Yeah, absolutely. So that was probably the coolest thing I thought about the movie. Obviously, you liked it. I liked it. Go see it. Detroit. Good movie. So today is a fun day because you get to hear me and Jimmy both sound like and look like idiots uh, because we're playing games and Jimmy knows I'm not that great with names but I know Jimmy's okay with lyrics and I think he'll do decent this time I'm hoping what'd you get last time two right I got two you got two okay so this time we're gonna do ten and uh, I got a I got more of a variety okay Does perfect that sound fair sure ready all right so let's just let's just hit the ground running then. Uh, you know the band My Chemical Romance? Yes. They got that song Teenagers. Well, this is this is what I want, okay? They said all the teenagers scare the living out of me. They could care less as long as someone will bleed. I have no idea. I have no guess. This is the chorus. I no so guess. dark in your clothes or strike a violent pose. Maybe they'll leave you alone, but not me. All right. I'm a little disappointed. Donald Trump by Mac Miller. Mac Miller. Okay. Okay. It's like I said, it's very hard without the music. It's That's, extremely hard. Well, we were supposed to test that. You were supposed to do this to me, but it's fun to doing it this way. I like it better this way, honestly. All right. You ready? Yes. All right. Donald Trump, Mac Miller. Yeah, you know it's me. Eh, hating on him because he started out here locally. Hopefully, I'll be at the top soon. But now I'm at my house watching cartoons. Oh, now I'm on the at my house on the couch watching cartoons. That serves a half a point. Half a point, sure. Okay. Sure, I guess we can do half points. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so Good by B.O.B. It's a little bit of a throwback. You remember how fun this song was whenever it came out? I liked it. All right. Um... You'll be in the high life, soaking up the sunlight. Anything you want is yours. I'll have you live in life like you should. You say you never have it so good. Na 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 na. You never had it so good. Na 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 na. Good job. Thank you. That was a good one. All right, we just listened to this song, but I don't. <laughs> this is this is just my favorite part of the song. Redbone, Childish okay. Gambino. All right. Too late. You want to make it right, but now it's too late. My peanut butter chocolate cake with Kool-Aid. Oh, yes. <laughs> I think it probably gave it away that I told you it was my favorite part, right? No, I, that's how it I works. We've it. listened to the song a million times. I know. It's just such a good song, honestly. All right. Uh, throwback, throwback, throwback. The Real Slim Shady. All right. So right now I have two and a half points. Yeah. Okay. You're, you're already doing better than you did last time. Okay. All right. Ready? It's the return of the, oh, wait, no way, you're kidding. He didn't just say what I think he did, did he? 
And Dr. Dre said, Nothing, you idiots. Dr. Dre's dead. He's locked in my basement. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, that's the one I knew for sure you were going to get. <laughs> <laughs> I was giving you that one. So three and a half points for Jimbo. All right, pumped up kicks, foster the people. The most upbeat, sad song ever. I mean, can we just say that right now? Yes. It's got to be. It's such a devastating song, what it's actually about, but you can't help but sing whenever it comes on. Okay. All right, ready? Yeah. All the other kids with the pumped up kicks, you better run, better run, outrun my gun. All the other kids with the pumped up kicks. Better run, better run, faster than my bullet. Ooh. It kind of makes me cringe now, actually. <laughs> like, knowing what it's about yeah. is just so, oh. All right, and I told you I went with a, a big, big variety, okay? Okay. Th this is really going to prove it. Fly Me to the Moon by Frank Sinatra. <laughs> I haven't heard this song in so long. Holy cow. <laughs> he, went, he went into left field for this one. I went to the moon, actually. But, all right, Fly Me to the Moon. Let me play amongst the stars. Let me see what spring is like. I have not heard this song in so long. Fly me to the moon. So go ahead, sing it out. <sighs> Let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on. I can't do it. I, I Jupiter and Mars. Yes, that's what it is. I, <laughs> I have not heard the song in so long. Great pick, though. Oh, I'll give you that. Thank you. I told you. I went all over yeah, the place you for did. this. So how are we going to follow up Frank Sinatra? Outcast, obviously. Okay. Miss Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> this describes us pretty well. We listen to about everything. Yeah, I mean, are we lying? Can you tell now? Um, all right, so let's let's do this. Miss Jackson, Outcast. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Who? I am for real. Never meant to make your daughter cry. I've apologized a trillion times. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Oh, you didn't do it. Oh, who? Pick it up. Pick it up. I am for real. Never meant to make your daughter cry. I've apologized a trillion times. All right, I like it. Do you know how the beginning of the song goes? Like the very, very beginning before the actual rap starts? It's, uh, it's, I've, I'll give you a bonus to all the babies, mamas, mamas. Mamas, mamas, mamas. Oh, okay, yeah. It, it keeps <laughs> yeah, going with this, the mamas. This one right here goes out to all the babies, mamas, 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 mamas. yeah. Yeah, and it goes like this. <laughs> they just go into it. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, let's kick it back a little bit to some uh, some West Coast stuff. Okay. It was a good day in Ice Cube's terms. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's another song I know so much of, but without the music, it gets harder. No, so. no, no, no. You'll okay. get this. And if okay. you don't, so you I'm, can I'm just disappointed. Make, okay. All right, ready? Yeah. Called up the homies, and I'm asking y'all, which, which park is y'all playing, playing basketball? basketball? Get me on the court, and I'm trouble. Last week, messed around and got a triple-double. Uh-huh. What's the next part? Okay. Last week. Let's see. <sighs> Freaking brothers every way like MJ. There it is. I can't believe today, today was, was a good day. day. Ooh, that's a good one. It's a good classic. Great song. All right, so uh, we're going to follow up some, some gangster rap by Eric Church. <laughs> wow. Drink in my hand. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> you, you really dumbed it down for me with some of these. I tried to help you out a little more. I felt yeah. a little too mean last time. Okay. All right, early Monday morning till Friday 5. Man, I work, 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 but I don't climb, climb, climb. Boss man can shove that overtime up his can. All you got to do is put a drink in my hand. So fill it up. Throw it down. Okay, careful. Last time you hit a desk, our whole system shut down. So let's that not do that again. That is a 100% true story. Oh, it is. You we can tell it real quick. I'll tell it real quick. Okay, go ahead. So we were, we were doing a basketball game like we used to for uh, Schoolcraft, and Tariq Jones threw down a monstrous dunk, and I'm not exaggerating. It was a monstrous dunk. And all you could hear was, oh, my goodness, Tariq Jones with – But luckily, we were able to save the uh, the archive. I mean, we were able to archive the sound. So Jimmy banging on the desk and making the whole system just go blank wasn't really that big of a deal. And plus, there was only two minutes left of the game, and it was a blowout. But, yeah, Jimmy hit the table so hard, he just completely broke our system, broke the computer we were using. Well, actually, it still works, but essentially, you <laughs> broke it <laughs> for a moment. So... 
Jimmy did good. What was your final score? Seven and a half out of ten. Out of ten. Out All of right. ten. That's All pretty right. good. I got I got I got I'd say an easy one for you here. Okay. We each kind of made it easy. All right. So this is the name game. Very simple. You can get 20 points with 10 names. You give me if they're an athlete or not an athlete, and you tell me what they do. For example, if it's not an athlete and, and they're a singer or a rapper or a real estate agent, okay, it could be anything. You get real two points. There's, there's no real estate agents. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. But I'm nervous if, now. If it's, a, if it's an athlete, you say the sport they play. Are you ready? <laughs> no, but yeah, sure. Okay. Who is Caleb Joseph? That's such a generic That's name. the point Are of the game. Me? Oh, my God. I can't even. It's my mailman. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> Got to give me something. Athlete or not? Not. Oh, and what does he do? So he is an athlete. Yes. <laughs> so you already missed the points. Yeah. Cause how it works is you get the bonus points if you get athlete or not. He's a baseball player, relief pitcher for the Baltimore Orioles. <laughs> All right. Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Because I'm going to know. Yeah, okay. All right, who is Robert Ritchie? Um, he was an actor, wasn't he? Okay, we'll give you the point for not an athlete. <laughs> and I'll say he's kind of an actor. He's Kid Rock, but... Oh, my <laughs> goodness. I always forget his real name, honestly. He's like right. the, You're one for he's, two. He's like the one Detroit person that I cannot remember his name for some reason. Okay. Uh, Josh Zeed. Josh Zeed. Is he is he actually the DJ, uh, Z E D D? Uh, he's actually the baseball player for the Houston <sighs> Astros. So you're one for three. Yes. All right. Um, Matthew Schaefer. Oh, he's um. Jeez, he's is he's on ESPN, right? He's Uncle Cracker. So I just tested Uncle that. Cracker? I know everyone's Detroit uh, name besides Kid Rocks. <laughs> Matthew Schaefer isn't okay. Who am I thinking of then? Somebody from ESPN is shaking. <laughs> I don't know. Freaking no, dude. All right. Good one, though. Dylan Brooks. Dylan Brooks. Dylan Brooks. I feel like I really should know this one. Athlete or not? Not. Basketball player. Huh. So far, you have one right. That's Yeah, I'm not good at this game. It's fine. Dave Dudley. Dave Dudley? Dave Dudley. Not an athlete. Correct. Um, Give me the bonus point to catch up. I know, I know, I know. See, this game, you could get the first five wrong, but then you could go... Bonus points. Bonus points would out. make you 10 for 10. Yeah. That's why I set this game up correctly. You're correct with not an athlete. Right. Dude, I don't know. He's an 80s country singer, Dave Dudley. But you're two, you've got two right. Yay. Uh, where am I at? Uh, Darlington Nagby. Darlington Negby. You're not making up these names? No. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Dude, I couldn't even throw it. I'm going to say he's an athlete just because. Perfect. What does he play? Dude, with a name like he's a golfer. <laughs> he's a soccer player. No, from where? Nigeria. Nice. He plays for the Nigerian national team. <laughs> That's why like, I couldn't pick like Barcelona or <laughs> Liverpool or Argentina. No. All right. Where am I at now? Uh, Paul Anka. Paul Inca? Paul Inca. Not an athlete? Correct. Cool. What does he do? Uh, news anchor? Singer. Oh. Canadian. Canadian singer. Canadian singer. Ah. All right, you have two more. All right, so far you have three points. Yay. You have a chance to get seven. What did I do last time, though? You, got, you zero, got four. Right? What? Oh no! The very the first time you got four. The last yeah. time you got zero. Last That's time right. I got a big fat goose egg. All right, Mark Chestnut. Mark Chestnut. Yes. Is he related to Joey Chestnut? No. <sighs> Joey Chestnut's the man, though. Not an athlete. Nah, correct. What does he do? Um. I'm gonna assume he doesn't eat hot dogs for a living like Joey Chestnut does. That's correct. Cool. Um. Is he a, a writer? No. No? He's a 90s singer. A 90s singer? Rock. Uh, southern rock. What do you sing? Country singer. What songs? Uh, we'll look that up later. <laughs> we'll look it up later. All right. You have one to <laughs> Damn get. Damn it. Are you serious? Juan Gabriel. Juan Gabriel? Juan Gabriel. I figure that's probably the hardest name I've ever given you. Just without even knowing who Juan Gabriel is, 
you hear Juan Gabriel, that's either a baseball player, a football player, a singer, or an actor. Right away. Is that fair to say? Soccer player. Or soccer player. Yeah, yeah I'm saying that. I'm just so I'm going to rule that out then right away. But I'm just saying there's <laughs> a lot you could get there with Juan Gabriel. <sighs> Juan Gabriel. Not an athlete? Correct. Chance to get six points here. Six Juan out of ten. Juan Gabriel. Juan Gabriel. Juan Gabriel. Oh, geez. Would I ever guess this actually, though? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you're shaking your head no. What an ass. Okay. Um... Just for giggles, uh, he's a old comedian. He's a Mexican famous singer. Okay. Famous in Mexico, not here. Oh, so the, how the hell do you expect me to get that? What? I've been to Mexico. I don't know <laughs> the Mexican culture that well. Jeez. All right, and um, so we started off with Jay Pitts. We're going to end it with Jay Pitts. We got another song from him called White Lies. Again, feel free to check him out on SoundCloud, YouTube. Wherever you want to find him. Uh, he did say that he is working on some new music, so he should have some stuff dropping on iTunes hopefully soon, Apple Music, all that good stuff, all right? So take a listen and have a good day, everybody. Pimple mama and pop establishments, baba shops, ran by cousins. Burn lots, trap houses, got dozens of them. But how we got here ain't a mystery. Funny how I can connect the dots and see the pictures clear from history. Huh? The same loss that keep us crippled in fear with the same police tactics used for 200 years. Back in 1830, two escaped slaves hailed from Kentucky. A couple named the Blackbirds, their fleet to Detroit was lucky. What's up, everybody? Cam Gwynn talking at you. I just want to let everybody know that Jimmy and I are in the midst of moving. We are going back to school, and we are going to be without equipment for, hmm, I don't know, maybe a little bit. So if you like this podcast or any of our other podcasts, be sure to hit the subscribe button and get notified when we do have our equipment back and we are uploading more. Everybody, check it out. Keep your eyes open. Pay attention. And we'll talk to you all later.